Hello everyone, this is Jeff with Barnstormer Baseball Cards. Thank you for joining us again. Today I went out and I found some more cards that will uh, replace some and upgrade pieces that we already have in our current collection. Some of which you see before you. Another one, we have an empty stand. That's because we found someone that we don't currently have. And that player is Mr. Larry Zonka. We did not have a Larry Zonka card. I went out today and came across this 1980 Tops. Mr. Zonka was a rookie in 1968, and this is actually his last card. Um, so we've got a long way to go to work our way back to his early years and possibly even his rookie at some point. But that's the fun part. I like the chase. We'll give it time, and I'm sure we'll come across one. Mr. Zonka was a two-time Super Bowl champ, including the 1972 Miami Dolphins. They actually won back-to-back -back Super Bowls in 72 and 73, and he was a five-time Pro Bowler. And in 1987, he was enshrined in Canton, Ohio in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Next, we have Mr. Troy Aikman. Most of you are probably familiar with him. He's a three-time Super Bowl champ, a six-time Pro Bowler, and 1997 Walter Payton Man of the Year. In the 90s, uh, they won three Super Bowls, even though our Kansas City Chiefs actually won more games. But today, I came out on top because I actually picked up a Troy Aikman 1990 Topps Traded Rookie card. So we have actually gotten all the way back to his rookie. It's an impeccable shape, great corners, great coloring, front and back are clean. It might be slightly off-center to the left. Uh, I love it just the same. It is absolutely gorgeous, and that is a stellar addition. Um, when I was younger, he was the man to be, and he was the man to beat. If you could... Uh, if you can imagine the what things were like with the Yankees and multiply it and put that into football terms, the Cowboys are them. So, again, that's a, a great pickup. Very, very happy to have him. And in 2006, he was enshrined in Canton, Ohio as well, into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Now, our third and final addition to this little group is Mr. Dick Butkus, who you see there in the middle. That is a 1971 Topps game card, which is the only card that we've had of him so far. These are kind of neat, a little bit different. They're before my time. They kind of remind you of the 1951 Topps baseball uh, blue and red backs. But today, we actually upgraded, even though it's a year older. I picked up a 1972 Topps Dick Butkus card. I love this card. He's got quite the scowl on his face. Um, he's shown here with the Bears wearing his 51, which was retired by the Bears after his career came to an end. Um, he was a eight-time Pro Bowler, a two-time Defensive Player of the Year, and was enshrined in the Hall of Fame in 1979. That is a great, great Hall of Famer. This is a good group. Um, Came across a lot of great cards. You'll see in another video, a lot of basketball cards came from the same place. We're trying to find them anywhere but baseball card shops or online and either find them by way of trade or in another kind of shop, anything that we can to be a little bit different and continue the chase and have some fun doing this. Um, I'm pretty rigid with baseball and what my expectations are and I'll even buy graded cards and things, but I had never really dabbled in football and basketball and I thought you know what we're going to go to the fun part of the hobby and we're going to do the chase part on all this. I done it with baseball to a certain extent but when you start to get into the older stuff um, you've got to kind of go where they are and and select the grades you want and things like that so this is a these are three more great pickups for us. I'm very excited to have them and um, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Barnstorm Baseball Cards. If you would please like and subscribe. Have a good day.